Welcome to our beautiful capital here in the Big NJ. Hunting down a uh, 14 unit property that I got a lead on. It's abandoned. I'm gonna do some, uh, some ghost busters, some ghost hunting here and try to break in it with seller's permission. Full disclosure, we're allowed to be here. Um, the owners know we're here. We're gonna go see what we can uh, determine, assess the property. Maybe there's opportunity here. I forgot my drill, which was a big Wait, fuck up. You had tools in your car too. There's all new trusses, or all new uh, joists, floor joists. Yeah. You got nothing, you got no hammer? Yeah, I got hammers. I just needed, the other one was screwed in. I mean. You to fall right through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you grab this? Foot? Yeah. Yeah. We got a 14 unit property here. I've been told it's 13 one bedroom apartments with a mixed use commercial space out front. Nobody knows how long this has been abandoned. Who knows, maybe they do, they don't give me that information. So I'm just trying to get a temperature reading on exactly what's going on here, what's been done, what happened. Um, obviously we got like some updated two by four studs here. You got the storefront, like people have been here. There's newer, there's updated PVC plumbing. You can see on the floor here, it's just drenched. That's my biggest concern is how long have we been sitting like this? And uh, what's it gonna take to, you know, square it up from the top down, essentially, starting with the roof, sealing in, you know, your investment. So the stairs look sturdy, dude. What is it? This is like home home. Harry, I'm going up! long hard day on the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. The clickety clack sound like money in the bank on the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Headed west, Portland, Oregon. Sunrise is the cascade. You know what they say, right? Natural light is your best friend. It's all to be gay. I'm grateful for a long holiday on the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. The clickety clack sound. You're not gonna have oil or uh, propane. You're not gonna have gas or anything like that. It's probably all electric. There's no plumbing here either. Well, oh, look, this is all your plumbing. This is your plumbing. The running, so this would be a bathroom. So I never get cold. Should have worn my boots. This is a unit. One bedroom, living room, kitchen bathroom. Hey, what's it called, Jeff? If I'm not mistaken, this is a dumb waiter. Modern day people use them to maybe get groceries from like, you know, if your house is raised out by the beach, I see them often, people to get groceries up into their kitchen. So, fair market rents for 2024. Obviously this project isn't done yet, so we'll assume we're into the future. One bedroom units are renting for $15.50 a month. So you're $15.50, there's 13 units here that are one bedrooms your $20,000 a month in potential cash flow. But you gotta get it for the right number. This is a big undertaking, probably anywhere from two to two to three years. You know, if you had somebody here full time, maybe you bang it out quicker, but city permits, inspections, all that good stuff, it's not gonna be fast. Oh shit. You got it, pal? Yeah, I got you. You wanna come out? It's not bad up here. It's the same thing. It's uh, a trust roof. It's only yeah. Look at A-frame. Part of our detective work for today. <laughs> Be careful with the glass. Not as bad as one would think. Anything could be a hammer. Overall, 
I had zero expectation, double zero expectation of what we were walking into. I really thought I was gonna fall through the floor. We were gonna find like maybe some squatters. The ghosts were gonna come eat us. I can see past the ugly. That's my uh, blessing and my curse. But overall, not a bad experience. And uh, we're gonna keep walking through the exercise. We might even purchase it. Continuing our adventures out here, exploring opportunity, finding opportunity, walking through opportunity, all of it. We're now doing a quick stop over here. I believe this is an abandoned row home in a really nice area where across from a church, just saw like three or four kids get let out of school. This is a three bed, I'm gonna guess. It's probably like a 1300 square foot house, maybe four bedrooms if we're lucky. Picking this asset up for about a third of what it's worth currently, let alone after it's renovated, we're gonna make this a cash flowing asset that we can DSCR, pull all of our money back out of, and probably collect anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200 a month. Two more opportunity stops here. These ones are side by side. We're here determining my source. I don't wanna give away too much of my uh, information, but my source wants to know a big part of what he uh, does when evaluating the value of a property and if he wants to move forward on it is is it occupied or vacant we're out here we're checking this one out we're going to do a little roof inspection walk the area more importantly while we're here we're checking to see hey is there people inside do we want to go through that process are they going to pay us more money what does that look like inheriting a tenant isn't always the best option We do coffee every Friday with the Pit Coaching Networking Business Group I'm a part of. We have 25 to 30 business owners here networking with one another, learning from one another, and ultimately just building a strong bond. We got a couple of listing photos to go shoot, listing video to go shoot. Come follow us along. Just doing my civic duty. So look, I'm all sweaty. I'm a dad at heart, so we got the piano going over here. I joke around that Alex is a prima donna, but he's really a perfectionist. So we move what needs to be moved, we prep, we go the extra mile. So it counts. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. Grab a corner, don't just, don't just stand here oh, and look shit. pretty. Sorry, I, mean, I, I know you got a six pack, but you're not that cute. Puffs. If you want to move it, but it's probably hard to move. Where do you want me to put this? Yeah, that way we don't see it. I'm gonna tell Steven you My said it's ugly. My dogs that well behaved. It's actually pretty it heavy. What is that, a Kayak for sale? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mother daughter suite in the garage, above the garage. Beautiful kitchen with the island here in the middle. Nice living room. Walk right out onto the yeah, deck. Yeah, that one. Jump in the oh, pool. I'll put it back. Girl dad. Can't escape it. Headed west to Portland, Oregon. Sunrise hits the Cascades. A train full of oil and timber and grain. It's the realest thing you see today. I wanted to touch base, so my, my buyer is very interested. Would your seller be willing to assign his mortgage? That way, we, you know, I'm assuming he probably has a better rate, being he rate locked back in May versus where the rates are today. Um, I would have to make a couple of phone calls and, and figure out exactly how that would work out. Um, I did speak with a lender one or two days ago. Um, he was the lender who actually got us the loan on this property. Um, yeah, we're looking at options. It was just something, you know, I figured, hey, if he has right. a statement, if he has his most recent, you know, mortgage statement showing that he owes X and the rate is X, and he calls his, you know, the lender, the bank, and they say, you know, hey, you can assign it. Let's have a conversation on right, how we put me... it together, even from, uh, regardless, you know, maybe the next conversation you and I have is, you know, a pretty blunt, transparent conversation of, hey, if your guy wants the house, here's where my guy's at, and uh, we put it together. Okay. All right? All right, let me reach out to the lender, Thank and then you. I will give you a call. I'm here. Back. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Explain that. Basically, that conversation right there was getting an understanding on what the current balance is for the mortgage that's on the property and what the current rate is. And then we can call the bank, you know, depending on what those items are and if it makes sense. And we would like to obtain that loan. We can call the lender and see if it's doable, you know, go from there. We have money to play with and put down as far as the down payment goes. So this is just another leverage tool. 90% of current homeowners 
have a loan. I've seen it on probably the last four out of my five deals, the loan was assignable. The one that wasn't, one I know for a fact, VA loans are not assignable. And number two, the one that was a little curveball is a PBA loan that's state funded. You have to be a veteran or, you know, in the um, police force or a fireman to get that rate. So the state's not gonna give you that special rate if you're just a regular civilian. So they protect those two loans. For those of you listening, those of you watching here, this home has been expired for almost a year, about 10 and a half months. No one else has been able to close those people. So not pat myself on the back here, but the seller did let us know, hey, this dude's a hustler. So kudos to Andrew for getting the guy on the phone and getting us the appointment, you know, booking the appointment for us to come out here. Kudos to myself though, for helping close it and solidifying him. We are bringing a different value. We are bringing an edge that I think allows us to win. I'm a competitor at heart and I'm grateful for the opportunities. Thank you.